All right, what do you say we go for a ride in my new Grand Cherokee? Let's do it. <laughs> oh man. Looks like it's going to be a neutral safety switch video. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I'm finally getting around to changing the neutral safety switch and the pigtail for this Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ. What I have here is the 4-2RE transmission with a straight six engine. And for this video, using nothing but the best, Mopar. We've got Chrysler Corporation Genuine Parts, 03747361, made in USA. Let's open this carefully. Here we go, guys. The good stuff right here. Here is our genuine Mopar part number, 3747361, right up top. This baby should be a one inch, got a one incher up in here. And I think the ticket, the winning ticket is a 12 pointer. This should give us the clearance we need to get past that tight rim of the transmission. So yep, one inch, we're gonna go with a 12 point socket on a half inch drive and we'll go ahead and get this, uh, we'll get this baby in. I got the front on a ramp and I got the back propped up with a jack stand and jack. Now I'm gonna get something comfortable to lay on so we could get under this Jeep. All right, we're under the Jeep. We're gonna locate our transmission pan from the driver's side. If we go right above the drive shaft, there you go, you will see your neutral safety switch. Now that black boot on top of it, that is the pigtail we're gonna be replacing. It is wrapped up in electrical tape right over there on the wires. They were exposed and they were probably shorting out. I think that's why I got myself the check engine light, but we're gonna go ahead and put a new pigtail on as well as changing the switch. All right, so let me get this pigtail, this cap off, and we can get to the switch. You know, this drive shaft makes this really annoying. Now, I hate the way this is routed. It's routed dumbly. I can't can't get enough slack to work on this. So I'm gonna pull this back through this bracket so I can bring it down. So I could cut the wires and then I could splice in some new the new pigtail. Ugh, it's dumbly. Good word, bro. Alright. Here we go. This harness come from above. And let me show you the band-aid I put on when I first got this Jeep. You can see this electrical tape wrapped around and it got funky pretty fast. So let's unwrap this. I tried to isolate the wires as best I could because they were all exposed and touching and clearly it didn't, didn't take because I got a short or something. Whatever caused that check engine light was uh was not an effective fix there we go here is the wire harness and it is covered in schmoo and grossness and you can see wires are exposed so i'm gonna cut these wires right here at the tip i'll do it one at a time so i don't uh confuse the wires and then uh put it back together all right got a little bit of brake parts cleaner I'm just gonna clean up this harness, make it less gross to work with. Missed. There we go. All right, there we have it. There is the old pigtail. Looks like the wire to the left is pink with some sort of white tracer. It's definitely worn out. The middle seems to be a black wire with a white tracer. And then finally the third wire that is the most frayed back I don't know, it looks kind of like a gray wire, solid gray. It's hard to tell. They're uh, in pretty bad shape.
there's not a lot of room to work with. This is like the only way to get this baby off. There we go. We'll go a small turn at a time. Well, there we go. See if we can get it by hand now. Oh, can't even reach it. What part are you working on? What is it called? This is called the neutral safety switch. A neutral safety switch? Yeah. All right. As we turn it, be prepared to catch some juice. It's going to leak some trans fluid. And here we go. Oh, look, this one's got the collar on the back. Let's make sure we put our collar on ours. Okay, here we go. There we go. snug it on. There is zero room to work with, let alone work and film. Oh my goodness. All right. I think that's good. Don't want to over tighten it. I'll never get it off. That should be able to crush that collar right on. And then, oh, there we go. How much you want to bet the socket is going to be permanently affixed to this Jeep now? <laughs> Come on, baby. <sighs> Got it. <laughs> Trying to plug the old cap onto the new sensor. Let's see if it'll go. Yes, I think that's in. I'm Dan H, and I survived a WJ neutral safety switch. All right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you, Jesus. Let's take two for good measure. <laughs> Even better. Oh, my goodness, guys. All right, guys, got to wrap this one up. A valuable lesson learned. The pigtail you get from Advance Auto, the CarQuest pigtail, doesn't fit well on a Mopar factory sensor. I got to go wrap up those wires. The second set of crimps are going to wrap up. Blah, wrap them up with electrical tape now we lost some fluid so if you think you lost uh too much feel free to go ahead and test your transmission oil top some off if you have to um mine should be good i didn't lose too much uh, if you're gonna check it just keep that thing hot and neutral put the e-brake on then you can check the levels of your trans fluid add atf plus three or plus four i think they're up to now but yeah that's it guys gonna be done with this one i'm cold i'm wet it's cold november rain is kicking in i gotta warm up so i don't catch a cold so i'm gonna clean up now done with this project thank god it is over with and i'll be able to start this baby every time all right guys remember to like subscribe that's it peace